Hey guys, how are you? Um, probably, if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering how to get the GeForce GTX 1070 to work on our Alienware graphics amplifier. Well, here I have it plugged in. Make sure you have all eight pins in there. It's only going to use one of the cables. Just make sure you put all eight. The other one you're not going to use. As you can see here, the other pin is, this is not being used at all. This is the Founders Edition. I'm going to show you guys what driver to download. Let's close this up. Let's fire it up. Okay, we're going to fire it up here. As you can see, it's powered on the graphics amplifier. You're going to see a very quick start here because this is on a Samsung Evo 850 SSD, 500GB. So it's going to start off extremely fast. I have it hooked up to the HDMI cables, as you can see. Hooked up to this secondary screen. Oh, there it goes, all fired up. Alright, let's go again. I'm going to put the camera down for a sec. Hold on one sec, guys. Just down for one sec. Why log in? Bear with me. Alright, firing up. Show you guys that it is the GTX 1070 that's going off of my computer right now. So let's go to Device Manager, Display Adapters. You see the GF Force GTX 1070 is working right there. I'm going to show you guys the driver you guys need to get. If you can't get it working, this is the driver you need, so I'm going to put this down for one more second. Let's go find that driver. And what you're going to do is you're going to download this driver, then with the graphics amplifier plugged in. Let's get this driver. Okay. Driver, driver, driver. Bear with me guys, I'm trying to find this driver right now for you guys. I hope it's under important. Folders, important. Chipset, driver links. Okay, so here's the driver you guys need. It's this one right here at the bottom. So if you copy that link right there, that'll get you the driver you need. You need both those drivers and then the graphics amplifier will work. Just make sure after you install the driver that you unplug and plug the HDMI cord back in. The best way to do it is on a secondary display to see if it's working. And yep, that's how you get the GTX 1070 to work on the graphics amplifier.